Morning guys and gals, Froggy here. Okay, let's do the driver's side rear. And I am only gonna show you the differences in what I do on the driver's side because I learned something from the passenger side. First difference, I am gonna jack under the frame instead of jack under the axle. The reason for that is I want that corner, that wheel, that whole area where the bottom of the shock is going to attach i want it to drop i'll have to jack it up more but i've got a a, a high-rise jack so that's not a problem and that way i think it'll be easier for me to get the shock in there so that's difference number one okay here's your tip i used a long extension to get clear of those uh parking brake lines uh because if i tried to get the gun in close to the uh, bolt head, uh, they would have been in the way, but with the extension, uh, no problem. Also, I noticed that the rear axle dropped down, not even, well, maybe a quarter of an inch when the bolt popped out. So I might need to put a bottle jack underneath that corner and lift it up just a quarter of an inch. As you can see, the shock's at full extension, and this is I think going to be a lot easier than I was trying to do the other side and muscle it up, which is also a possibility. All right, let's get the top one. I'm going to forget which number this trick is, but if you don't, if you think you're going to do a quick job and you don't have a handy jack stand, jack stands are preferred, um, but you can throw your wheel underneath there with a couple of blocks of wood. And then if your uh, floor jack fails, it's not going to go anywhere. Take off your mud guard, three little seven millimeters, and I'm gonna be able to get at that. On the inside, I'm gonna put a six inch extension. It's 21 millimeter, and I'll put some kind of a wrench on that, maybe my torque wrench or something, and then I can uh, gun it from the outside. Uh, so that's what I used on the inside to hold the um, nut. Uh, might have been uh, actually to hold the bolt head. Maybe that's eight inches, not six inches. And uh, spun it right off. And this whole thing from pulling the car into the garage to right now was, took me about 15 minutes. So this side is going much faster. Um, there are no gas lines in the way, so that is one advantage. And, and it's going to be easier to put the new shock in, too. So I'm going to go get a little coffee. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and uh, just watching a little bit of the Brazilian Formula One race there. Really good race if you want to see a good Formula One race. Um, so here's a tip. Always check your torque wrench before you start talking something because... I didn't, and I had the wrench set for 125, which is these lug nuts. So by the time I realized that, this one I've got tightened up probably to about 100-ish, which is okay. It's not going to hurt anything. It's a really, really big nut and a bolt. Um, but <laughs> I had to struggle on it, and then I finally, why am I pulling so hard on this for 85 pounds? And then I realized the mistake. Anyway, that went on easy. Um, just an extension on the inside and a box, a box on this side. And now let's, uh, let's take a look at the bottom. So as you can see, the bottom is going to come up about, uh, three quarters of an inch. And I'm just going to get a bottle jack and put it underneath that corner and jack it up. So this should be easy. So there's one of, uh, I've got like a small, medium, and large. It's a nice thing to have bottle jacks. And as you can see, I'm right about there. So that was super easy. This whole side was super easy compared to uh, the passenger side. A uh, little trick here, when you need two hands on the torque wrench to pull it tight, uh, take the other side Oh, let me back up a little bit. There. Take the box end side and let it let it come around until it hits something solid like this up here. Then it's holding itself 
and you can put two hands on the other side. Then to get it loose, because uh, it'll be on there really tight, to get it loose, I just took this uh, deep socket, put it over one of the things, put an extension on it, and just pulled backwards like that, just a little tiny bit to get it loose and get it off. So that's about it. Put that splash guard back, put the wheel back on. So those are little differences on the driver's side. Um, hope it helps you out. Give me a thumbs up or a like if it does. And subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy. Uh, click on the bell if you want notifications. Be safe. Have fun. Froggy out. Bye-bye.